Assalamu alaikum, welcome to reading and comprehension class. So this is the word of the week um, table. Please do practice them, uh, especially the spelling words and the high frequency words because we are gonna be testing the kids on them. So this Thursday, we will be test doing a spelling test on these uh, six words, fin, line, tip, hike, mix, and five. And next week, inshallah, we'll do the high frequency test on these three words, all, any, and says. So please find the picture of this slide on your bright wheel and do practice the words with your child. So today we are continuing with the story, Families Work, in Unit 1, page 65. So the title of the story is Families Work, and the genre of the story, or the type, there are certain types of the stories, fictional and um, realistic fiction. This story type is expository text. So that means it's uh, informational text. So we started by reading the story and then we answered some questions. So let's read the story first. Families work. Ellen Young had a busy day at work. She put a cast on a broken arm used a bandage to cover a deep cut, and helped 20 patients. Ellen is a doctor for children. Customers can get, can get sick at any time. So pediatricians work long hours. They have, ha they have hard jobs. Ellen's husband work long hours too. Steve is a firefighter. At the firehouse, he makes sure the tools work properly. He checks the hoses and fire trucks. At the fire, Steve rescues people from hot flames and smoke. The firefighters all work together to put out the fire. At home, the young family works together too. Hannah sets the table for dinner. She also helps wash the dishes. Everyone has weekly chores. Mom and Hannah do the dusting and mopping. Dad and her brother Zach do the laundry. They wash, dry, and fold the clothes. Mom makes a shopping list each week. She lists items they need and things they want. A short time ago, Zach wanted a new laptop. The family needed a new washing machine. They could only spend money on one item. Both cost the same. They had to choose. Clean clothes are needed for school and work. A new, lap a new laptop is nice, but did Zach need it? Alan and Steve thought about their family's need. They decided to buy the washing machine. Zach knows that his parents have busy jobs. They bring home money to pay for, his, for their needs and wants. They needed that washing machine. Zach still wants a laptop. The family has decided to save money each week so they can buy it in the future. So after reading the story, we can answer questions. The first question says, underline details that tell why Ellen had a busy day. So in this part of the story, we can underline this question that tells us why Ellen has a busy, has a busy, a busy day. She put a cast on a broken arm, used the bandage to cover a deep cut and helped 20 patients. Next question says, circle flames in the text. Then circle a word with the almost the same meaning. On this part, we can find the word flame, so we can circle it. And the word that has an almost same meaning is smoke. So flames and smoke are the answer here. So we can circle both words. Next page, we can answer this question. Circle details that tells why the family decided to buy a washing machine. So where from the text did we understand that the family decided to buy the washing machine and not the laptop? So on this part, it says, 
clean clothes are needed for school and work. So that's why they decided to buy the washing machine instead of the laptop. Next, we talked about the new vocabulary in the text. So we learn new more vocabulary, the word cost, it means to have something at a certain price. So cost means the price we pay for things. Here we have an example, Jordan asked, how much does the shirt cost? So cost means the price we pay for uh, things. Next word is spend. Spend means using your money to buy something. William decides to spend his money on a, a snack. So spending means using the money to buy things. And then we did this page on the practice book, page number 47. These are the answer, you can screenshot it and do it with your child. So the question says, read and spell the words in the box, then identify which word completes the sentence. So we have a box with words here, and then we have to find the uh, right word for each sentence. So you can pause the video and uh, answer the, uh, the page with your child. And that's the end of the lesson. Thank you for attending.